Today I'm going to teach you how to traverse binary tree using three methods pre-order, in order, and post order. Uh, the way I like to think about uh, these prefixes pre, in, and post it's in reference to where we put our print statement. So when I program this uh, in a few seconds um, you'll see what I mean. So this, this relies in, on uh, using recursion and I'll take you through an example. So for example, pre-order, first we would print because pre, you can see value, we'll, we'll print the 10, then we'll print everything on the left, then the right. So we'll go down as deep as we can. So then we'll print 15 first. Uh, we'll go down, it has a left side, three, we'll print five, and then we'll print, uh, print six. And then we finish this line. Um, then we'll handle the right hand side here. We'll print 30. Uh, 30 has no left, so we'll first print 2, then we'll print 9, then we'll print 8, and then it ex exits. I'm gonna wait for this fucking train, this is crazy. Okay, so in order, uh, you can see we first print all the lefts, then the value, uh, then the right. So this will start at the very bottom, we'll print 5, 3, uh, then we print 15, then we print right, so six, then 10, then 30. Uh, 30 has no left, so we print, uh, we go all the way to the bottom of nine, then we print two, then we print eight. And then the post order, you can see we print last. So we'll start with the left, go to the right, and then we print the value. So we go five, three, uh, six, then we print the value 15, then we, we go all the way to the bottom again, nine. Uh, then we, we go to eight, then two, then 30, then 10. So it's a little bit confusing. It's actually much easier in code. So let me show you what that looks like. So um, I've got some boilerplate here uh, that I'm, I'm gonna copy. Uh, so this will initialize the binary tree that you see here. Uh, so I'll write my main function here. So, oops. Cool. So first of all, we'll do our imports. That's all we'll use for this. Next, we'll do func main. And we're gonna call our initialize btree function. Cool. So this will build our uh, binary tree. It returns a node, so uh, actually it, it, it returns a pointer to a node, so we've got base. Next, we're going to write uh, our simple function. So we've got function, uh, we'll start with pre-order. Oops. Uh, we'll call this on the, uh, I like to do it this way, so we will call, we'll use a pointer to a node. And then we'll wrap the entire thing if it's, if uh, the node is not equal to nil, then we'll do the work. So what's the work? It's this simple. So first we print the value. So let's go to the value. So we'll do fmt dot print line we'll print the node dot uh, val and I forgot to uh, use my type so I meant to do this in the boilerplate that I was co copying and pasting so this is our node you can see a node is a struct with the values uh, value which is an integer a left pointer to a node and a right pointer to a node so when we call the pre-order on node, we'll see if the node is first uh, not nil. If it's not nil, then we'll print the pr value. So you can see pre-order, we first print value. Then uh, we're gonna handle everything on the left. So how do we do that? We will call uh, n dot pre-order. So we're gonna use this function uh, to call it recursively. And uh, what are we gonna? What are we going to pass? We're going to pass the uh, uh, dot uh, left. So you can see pre-order. We handle the left first. Then uh, we're gonna call it on the right. 
uh, dot pre-order. So we're passing the node on the right, and uh, this should this should, should just work. Uh, so, like, how does this work? Um, you could imagine first we pass the ten. The ten uh, uh, is not nil, so we print ten. Then it's going to ten has a left uh, value, which is fifteen. Then it's going to call pre-order. Pre-order is going to print 15. And then 15, of course, has a, uh, a left value, which is 3. It's going to call pre-order again. It's going to print the 3. Uh, 3 uh, has a left child, which is 5. It's going to print the 5. Uh, uh, 5 is going to be, it's going to call pre-order. It has nothing on the left. It has nothing on the right. Uh, so then it's so then we go back to the initial call of uh, uh, what is this? This is the uh, the fifteen. Fifteen has a six. Six will print. Uh, I hope I'm saying this correctly. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, I am. Uh, then it will go to thirty. Uh, thirty will uh, print. Uh, thirty has nothing on the left. 30 has something on the right, 30 will print 2, uh, 2 has something, it has a 9 on the left, it will print 9, and then it will uh, 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 pass the right value, which is 8, and then it exits. Um, so that is how to imagine uh, recursion, and actually a video I should reference is Tushar Roy, he takes you through the call uh, much more precisely. So. Um, uh, that's a good video to watch. Um, so I will implement the uh, the other two methods. So I've got uh, where's this at? This is base dot preorder. Cool. Then I'll write base dot in order. So based on in order, you can copy most of this work. And if you spot the difference, in order will first uh, recursively call everything on the left and then print the value. So that's simply moving a line of code. So deleting that pasting it there so we will recursively call everything on the left then print then uh, recursively call everything on the right uh, and then last but not least will be our our post order function uh, post order will First, recursively call everything in the left, recursively call everything on the right, and then it will print the value. So you can see the, the, the difference amongst these functions is the location of the print. Uh, and let me show you how this works real quick. So I've got this written here. I will go run uh, main, and you can see that this is the pre-order. This is the in order and this is the post order and the difference amongst these functions is simply where I put the print and that's it. That's simple.